year ago, I walked the worlds and killed the Dreamer. The human that the Root were using to invade Earth. When I left that damn tower, I thought the war was finally over. But the Root was still here. of success negligible. On the other hand, your journey is not guaranteed to fail. Resist what cannot be resisted. They fight a battle that cannot be won. What is up, guys? It's Bolt, and I'm finally here bringing you the long-awaited Remnant from Hell mod that we've been working so hard on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here. Shout out to Ori, the mastermind behind this, who kind of started out just messing around with the game files and then opened up Pandora's box and allowed this project to happen so big thanks big shout out to ori 
big shout out to spiked who worked his ass off as well doing all these tweaks the spawn tables the trinkets that everything i can't even thank these guys those two guys enough cool username as well he was a big part of it in the beginning he kind of he was working so hard on it that he kind of got burnt out so shout out to him shout out to the rest of the ets guys uh glaris well main play tester and then the vip guys teddy fometto subject siler you were there in spirit chariot you were there in spirit as well everybody else i'm forgetting I'm just too excited. I'm, I'm like at a loss of words that we're finally bringing this to you. So this is this video is just going to be a quick overview of the patch notes. I'm not going to go in depth with it because it's like 50 pages of patch notes that we got here, guys, for, for this mod. But I want to go over the main points. But I first want to start off by saying, guys, when you play this mod, first only play with people who have the mod also. So play with your friends who have it. Don't go in random games and play and have the mod. Um, second of all, have a separate save for the mod and a separate save for vanilla uh, that being uh when you load your save for the mod you'll have all your trinkets that are associated with this and uh you know and so on and so forth so have a separate save for both vanilla and the mod so what does our mod entail so the main drawing point is that we created a new difficulty for all you tryhards and diehards the guys who can't get enough of remnant like myself we always thought that uh, Apocalypse was a little on the easier side of things uh, for Endgame. You get very powerful in this game, Endgame, once you have all your traits maxed out and you have all the gear. As you saw in some of my speed kills or Spiked or Cool or Glarus' speed kill videos, Apocalypse bosses can be killed in seconds, literally. So we had a different vision of what Remnant Endgame should be like. And that was pretty... It's like pretty much new game plus 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 so we increased enemy spawns so we're gonna have more enemies regular mobs i'm gonna start scrolling down what am i doing so we're gonna go right here to this chart right here you can see exactly how we uh fix the uh, scaling in the game so basically regular mobs have the same apocalypse health but they deal more damage and there's a higher frequency uh of them that the, the meaning behind them us keeping the, the same apoc health was we wanted to keep all the weapons in line for mobbing so we wanted like the automatics like the assault rifle or chicago type rifle to still be able to hold up against crowds and not have sniper rifle and shotgun which are probably you know the top tier weapons um shine and steal a spotlight yet again so all the weapons are still good for mobbing all the weapons are still good um we increased the health and damage of elites and we increased tenfold the health and damage of bosses so if you can see down here we pretty much doubled the health of uh apoc bosses so their original health was a 14 113 percent increase we extended that to 825 percent and their uh, previous damage was 405 we increased it to 540 um a lot of attacks are one shots yes on, on apoc many attacks weren't one shots but now on uh, hell it is but we still it's not to the point where tanking is impossible you just have to your tank build has to be a lot more well rounded and well thought out for it it's possible it's 100 percent still possible you just need to um sacrifice a lot of damage and just gear up properly in order to tank it's not as easy mode how as it was at apoc where you just put letters on and laugh at everything no you got to be a little bit more selective with, with your gear so that's just a brief overview of the new difficulty so i'm going to go now into our next drawing part which is challengers those are new enemy types that we included into uh, the mod so basically these are roaming bosses you're going to see some familiar faces roaming around so what these guys do they are their um, HP is set to hard mode difficulty HP, but they still deal APOC levels of damage. So there are many boss encounters in the world. You want to kill these guys, and I'm going to explain why. They drop a new item, a new crafting material called Dark Silver. And what Dark Silver is going to do is going to allow you to go to the Root Mother, and that's where you purchase the new items that we created in the game. So... Yeah, they're going to pose a big threat, especially when you're surrounded by hundreds of enemies. 
but you want to kill these guys because you want to get the new goodies and try out all the new stuff that we have. So challengers, we renamed the uh, the enemies, and um, in the future we are probably going to start resizing them a little bit and giving them palette swaps, making them look a little different. So that's the new uh, the new enemy type that we added. Uh, we also added faction warfare. Now what that is is we have we put different types of enemies in the, in the in the world only in their corresponding worlds for example bandits they're only on earth we have them roaming around certain areas of earth and they will combat the the route so it's cool you'll 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 be walking around you'll hear gunfire out of nowhere and then you see some bandits duking it out with uh some some root devils and stuff like that really cool it adds it, it adds a lot of life to the to the world we felt like the world was a little barren in terms of that so now it feels a lot more lively and a lot of surprises when you're when you're roaming around. You'll be surprised to see the type of factual warfare, and just you'll be at all just sitting back and watching it and taking it all in. It's really cool. Um, we did uh, rework some of the fights and si si the, some of the siege events. I'm not gonna go too in depth. I just want you guys to experience everything and say, "Wow, what the hell is this? This is really hell," you know. And so I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I want to go over this as an overview. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, we did a lot of bug fixes. You could pretty much go through the list here and see uh, a lot of the main things. We did uh, like Guardian Axe now works. Amulet of uh, Epic Accuracy uh, well, now works. Um, just stuff like that. Um, a lot of the melee uh, tags now work that weren't, that weren't working. Uh, so there you go. Epic Amulet right there. Radioactive Ember now works properly. Stalker's brand, funny enough, was doing the opposite of what it was intended to do. It was actually drawing attention to you instead of being um, stealthy. So now that works. Uh, fix a little stuff, tooltip stuff. Uh, Kari Warbin had a hidden feature. We removed it. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys go through all of these um, individually. Another big one is Seeker. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Seeker did not crit and it didn't do any elemental damage. So now it does its uh, corrosion element damage and it also crits. So it's going to be even better than it was, guys. And it's what this is how it should have been in the original. It was already pretty strong. Now it's going to be stronger, which is awesome. Uh, Guardian Axe, a big one. It actually generates my power so guys go crazy with that um another big uh bug fix that we did was obrick if you guys didn't know cracking obrick's uh helmet reveals his weak spot but it pretty much in vanilla had the same hp as the boss himself so there was really no point in breaking his helmet you'll be there the whole fight breaking his helmet but now we fix it appropriately you know even devs admitted that you know, this was an error on their end so we fixed uh, the, the skull's hp and it's now breakable at around 25 percent of damage so it's a new way to fight obrick it's actually a, awesome because now you can use a weak spot build on him it doesn't have to be strictly mod builds against him anymore you could actually use like a slayer sniper or a shotgun build or something like that really cool really nice way to uh it's a it opens up a new way to fight him and it's, that's really cool quick bug fix on root horror he was actually in vanilla listed as an elite that was a bug. We actually made him. That's why he was so squishy. That, we actually made gave him boss scaling. So now he's an appropriate boss fight. So um, yeah, uh, we buffed uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll go over the, some of the notable ones, but you could uh, you could check them out yourself. All of the patch notes are going to be in the video description, along with the link to the mod itself. So I'll just go over some of the main ones that we thought were like um, big big. Uh, Driftstone had a big rework. We added 15% uh, frost damage on it on top of uh, 1 .1, uh, times 1.1 .1 damage uh, to frost mods. So, yeah, we kind of wanted to make this useful. Driftstone was pretty much one of the most useless trinkets in the game. So now if you want to go frost build, it adds a nice frost damage element to your uh, to your, your, your build. So that's definitely uh, a big uh, balance change that we did on that. Um, little stuff here and there. Uh, I'm just going to go to um, Shatter Vertebrae was one that we were playing around with so much. We didn't know how to get it. Now it's pretty much great for really low level crit builds. You're guaranteed. It's, it pretty much puts you at 50% crit chance. So if you don't want to wear a bunch of crit stuff, this is the, uh, you know, you don't have a high crit chance. You don't have execution to trade. It's a low level build. Shatter Vertebrae is going to be your, 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 uh, your, uh, your neck right there. It's really cool. It's actually really useful now. So uh, we we're excited about that one. Again, Stalker's Brand, we fixed. Talisman of Animosity uh, was one that we were playing around with a lot. And we changed the name to Tragic Emblem, you know, to shout out to Tragic, who is the principal des designer of Revenant. Um, he's very interactive with the uh, community, so we wanted to name something after him. So it's now called Tragic uh, Emblem. It's really strong. 
Uh, we think you guys are going to really like that. We, we increase the damage buff on it. It's all damage as well. Uh, White Rose, which is probably one of, another one of them. For the, how difficult it is to get, it was useless. It was probably one of the weakest necklaces in the game. We actually buffed it, so it's actually pretty useful now. So we went from 25% to 40% damage. Actually, pretty damn strong now. Go go crazy with it. Uh, we increased the Threat Scaler on Aggressor's Bane. This is a big one, so for you guys who want to play co-op, we're trying to make it so that aggro could be drawn to that single player if it wears the Aggressor's Bane. So it's still a little wonky. The, the Threat Scaling in this game is still pretty wonky, but it, it should behave a lot better better in uh, that regard if you want to be the guy who takes all the hits from your team um we renamed band of caster and band of uh, pollux we actually buffed them as well so it's now called band of chloe and uh band of max uh let's see what else we got band of discord is really good that used to be the training wheels for warlord armor no longer you could this is a great great trinket to use during siege events when you're getting hit constantly because it heals for 300 percent now instead of 125 so your health you could take a couple of hits and keep on healing through it's very it's really good for for um encounters where you're gonna get swarmed with a lot of mobs so guys highly recommend trying that that out now celerity stone was a rework we kind of made um and um along with gunslinger's ring so now they're both swap for swap builds one is for celerity stone is for the um uh the shotgun swap builds so uh, this is going to increase your, uh, your your firing rate and your swap speed. So you mag dump, swap, mag dump, swap with provision. It's awesome. Awesome. Celery Stone is amazing now. It was already amazing. It's even more fun now for those guys who love uh, shotgun mag dump swap builds like myself. Uh, Deceivers, man, we had a crit chance to it. Really good ring now. Uh, we want to make it more enticing for guys to use, for people to use. Uh, what else we got? Gunslinger's ring. This is the swaps for um, snipers. If you're a swap... The sniper swap build lover like myself as well. This is the one you want to use right here for provisioner swaps for the sniper rifle. So celebrity stones for shotgun swaps. Gunslinger's ring is going to be for um, sniper swaps because you get more uh, ammo in there. You get a faster reload and you get less uh, recoil. You got recoil reduction as well. So really good ring now to use. Hunter's halo is more of the ammo uh, ring now. We reworked it. Um, and then we combined Hunter's halo and Iskall Hunter's man. It's one trinket. It's more of like quality of life stuff. Uh, so Iskall Hunter's Man is a beast of a... Uh, it was already good. Now it's a super beast. And opens up more build uh, possibilities now for uh, shotgun uh, uh, builds with Hunter and that, that nature. Um, Juggernaut Band just reduced the sprint time on that. Quality of life fix. Pillar Stone, we increased it a lot. Because not many people use it. This is a nice utility ring. I enjoy it, especially with Ruin or the Hunting Rifle. So now we increased it so much now. We want to make the we want to make the little the stuff that people didn't really use much more enticing to use. So now with um with the sway reduction and the recoil reduction, you're very accurate. You can hit those weak spots very easily now, especially with hunting rifle. Great ring to have when you're world clearing, mobbing things like that. Prismatic we buff just to make it more like stone of balance. Uh, ring of honor we increase it just so you could get a uh, um some of the heavier armors on a lighter level. Ring of supremacy I felt like originally. When the game first, when Ring of Supremacy first came out, it was only a five second requirement. Ah, tragic, tragic. He uh, nerfed it, and he, he doubled the requirement. I always felt that was too much. You know, uh, I know it's a very strong ring; it's one of the best rings in the game. But I always wanted uh, players of lesser skill levels to be able to still use it. So we may, we we wanted to uh, bring it down just slightly. So we brought it to seven seconds. So maybe the people who aren't as skilled as uh, more experienced players will still want to give this a try because seven seconds isn't incredibly long. You can still uh, heal up and, and get that buff back. Um, Ring of the Punisher. We just we added more um, status effects, guys, in this game. So we wanted we 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 uh, fix it to uh, accommodate those uh, new status effects that we did. Scavenger's Ring actually gives a decent heal now. The heal was pretty garbage before. That's actually a decent heal, so really great for mobbing, really great for siege events, especially on hell mode where you could just uh, kill all these enemies and get pickups. You don't have time to heal. Scavenger's Ring is really good now. Uh, anything else? Vanguard Ring was a rework. Uh, pretty much, it, we, got, we got rid of the damage debuff. I don't even know why that was in there for, to be honest with you. Uh, but the main thing we added here is we added stagger damage. So as you stack, you get 50% damage, stagger damage per stack. So you could just stagger the hell out of these guys. Now, this is one of my one of my most favorite things that we did in, in this uh, mod. Really fun to use. 
completely new build that you can make with this just like a stagger build you guys gotta try it out it's 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 really good um volatile gem we just you know did some more damage to it and increase the um the, the radius all right a big overhaul was akari guys this armor set is beast mode now we brought it up to like a tier levels as you can see we removed the evade speed on it we always thought that looked kind of silly but we added a consumable use speed um and then we increased the um the speed bonuses to 50 percent now so you are like lightning fast your melee speed is insane your firing rate is insane so um what was i gonna say um yeah like couple this with some of the some of the other items that we, we reworked like world's edge guys akari is monstrous now you got I, you guys just need to try it out for yourself um let me see what else we got. Uh, Bandit, we just increased it by 5%. Uh, that little 5% makes a huge difference. You're going to get a lot more procs. Bandit is super fun to use, man. It's going to be even more fun. Try out the new uh, the new buff there. Carapace, we dropped the the, uh, the Harden timer to uh, 12 seconds. Just a little quality of life. Nothing great game ranking. Same thing with the uh, Drifters. We increased the stamina region. We wanted it to make it more appealing to use. Um... We increase the One Piece Hunter uh, spread reduction. It gets you a little tighter. Osseus is cool now because we uh, change the time it takes to... Uh, we decrease the time it takes to ramp up and, and the time it takes to ramp down. So you'll be able to maintain your Osseus buff longer. Really cool. Uh, so uh, in Scavenger, we want to make more people to use this as well. So instead of on um, pickups, where it's giving you two stacks instead of one. Uh, it's really great for siege events now, guys. I really enjoy Scavenger set for like the, the overwhelming ads you get uh, in siege events. Uh, what else? Scra Scrapper. We just increased the um, the range from five to seven point five uh, meters, and, re and reduced the chest weight so uh, Ring of Honor could make it to uh, lighter. Uh, but the uh, the five to seven point five was just because uh, Scrapper is the shotgun armor. We wanted it to uh, coincide with that. Uh, Slayer. Uh, we removed the ten second buff. That was I don't even know why they had a timer on the on the uh, the weapon buff. That was it, it when the game first came out and didn't have it. I don't know why they added it, so we removed it again. And then we just increased the uh one piece to, to give people more of an incentive to, to use the one piece uh slayer bonus. Twisted was another big rework, we gave it a 40% damage buff. Now it's one of the top melee if builds. If you want to do hybrid melee mod, this is going to be your set, guys. It's actually really good now. And the one piece uh region we increased as well because we wanted to make people use Twisted. It was literally the worst armor set in the game, nobody used it. It was useless. Now it's useful. It's really good. And we think a lot of players are going to like it and are going to use it now. All right. Uh, we uh, reduced the tick interval for these uh, the ground fire. So like anything like wildfire, front shot, etc. Um, so it's going to, it's it's going to, what does it say? Interview with Aaron Sorrell. Same thing, fire trees, max stack, eliminate season. So we reduced the, yeah, so full stack. You get to get the full stacks quicker. Crawl your life. Same thing with the summons. We increased their health. We felt like they died immediately, especially with Blood Bond. Don't level up Bloodbond, guys. So um, now your summons should last a lot longer. Uh, Blizzard, we uh, increased the duration, so it's going to be out there a lot longer. It's actually good now. We, um, we um, the frequent, it, it, it's actually reliably going to freeze enemies now because the icicles just drop down faster. Um, Breath of the Desert, we if you sometimes, for example, if you're fighting Totem Father, any any enemy that's elevated, Breath would not lock on. So basically, the free free fire breath is now just Titan spread, so you could like free aim it a little easier. Cold spear, we increase the damage. We wanted to make the frost mods do more damage now, guys. Open up more build possibilities. Uh, same thing, fan of knives is beast mode now. A blood mage build is now in fact possible. Uh, Flicker cloak, this one we had to nerf. We uh, we buffed the hell out of it and then had to nerf it again because we just made it too strong. It's still insanely strong, guys. It's gonna keep you alive very well uh and it's actually extremely useful now i think you guys are gonna enjoy that riff walker same thing we made it too strong we have to dial it back a little bit uh super strong now guys just uh it, we the, you we increase the duration you're pretty much immortal for eight seconds it's the same same thing with flicker cloak uh seeker i already explained that song of swords we brought it the mod cost in line with pearls of War and hunter's mark it should be the same anyway we never understood why it was more because it's actually the most it's actually the more inferior one out of the three. So now it's, it has the same mod cost as Hunter's Mark and Corosavara. 
wildfire shot we increase the aoe and we increase the charges more it's a great crowd control mod now uh let me see anything we did uh oh yeah we changed the product of the iskal to corrosive damage that's a nice little damage buff uh on it uh twin shot is not fully auto it's quality of life stuff alternator was another big one guys um so there's three versions of the alternator we have vanilla that we fixed the the on, in the vanilla alternator the primary now does frost guys so you could build frost stacks on the primary and we uh improved the the mod on it a little better uh we decreased the the, the uh requirement on it the other two was a project from me and uh ori so my version of the alternator is like a rocket launcher it fires a super powerful rocket and that's the one i like uh ori created his is like more of like a fire shotgun a lot of the other guys like that one um i liked my rocket launcher version one because i feel like it added more versatility to the gun you can snipe targets off with the rocket from far it's really really strong i love it um but a lot of the guys found the uh the shotgun version very fun you could just like mag up um, a fire shotgun it's really cool also so that was the, another big project we did in this game alternator completely revamped three versions you guys are going to really enjoy all three devastator we reduced the mod requirement um we felt like it compared to other uh it wasn't in line with other mods lower level um uh, mods so now it's in line it's it's actually a really good gun now like i can't believe i'm saying that the way the oh, it, it, with some of the trinkets that we introduced with devastator i got some builds for you guys you're gonna see watch fusion rifle was one that we try to save so much the mod is just pissed guys there's no saving the mod so instead to compensate for that, we just buffed the primary on it. We made it pretty much like an LMG. You will get mods more. Uh, reload speed is faster. Its uh, primary is really good now, but unfortunately the mod cannot be saved. It's still unreliable with the hit detection. But it's actually usable now. It's a lot better, and you guys are really going to enjoy that one as well. Hunting rifle, quality of life stuff. We just made the, sp the spread a little tighter on it and increased the ammo capacity. Uh, Repulsor, the banished mod is now uh, refreshable. Quality of life. Ruin, big one right here. We remove the mod on it so if you want if you don't want undying on it you can take it up put whatever mod you want on it that was what's hold, what was holding ruin back the primary on ruin is amazing and undying was just holding it back it was it made it to one of the worst guns in the game now it's top tier it's a great gun you guys are gonna love that uh melees just kind of got buffed across the board uh chain blade a tier now uh try doing the two uh, two light attacks into a charged heavy that's the way you want to use chain blade frostborn actually does frost damage now who would have thought <laughs> guardian axe told you about that one uh hero sword just a little bit of a uh, uh, damage buff on the uh, light attacks raven actually has really good life steal now it's useful um <clears throat> the non-elemental weapons now have damage increase because we wanted to give you an incentive to use these non-elemental weapons uh world breaker now does radiation world's edge is a huge overhaul it used to suck now it's actually one of the best way weapons in the game uh basically it ticks multiple times so you'll hit you'll you'll do your charged and it ticks multiple times so you can apply all these status effects instantaneously it's insane guys you just have to use it i don't want to spoil too much just use it and you'll see what i mean um some enemy uh fixes uh bell warden yeah his you guys know the bells were just way too tanky so we decreased uh the um the hp on the bells Obrick, i explained already uh anything of note let me see uh oh yes <laughs> guys fight singe i'm not gonna spoil anything i'll just read this Singe has a new attack phase if you know what to break that's all i'm gonna leave and no spoilers here for me guys just have fun fighting singe and just shoot different parts of his body um what else let me see oh we added a new status effect sickness you'll you'll come across that in one of our trinkets so sickness now uh it's pretty much the reverse of corrosion it makes enemies do less damage to us so this is going to be great for uh debuffers uh support team uh members this is what you're going to want to run right here really cool already thought of that um uh, he's the man and uh let's see what else we got and that's about it man that's just a quick i didn't want to even get into the new trinkets guys get your dark silver go to the root mother buy the trinkets play around with them and just be uh just have fun guys man we had a lot of fun making this it was a lot of work uh especially for you know spike and ari you guys came through you guys put so much work in this 
uh, Hunted 2 for creating your tool. I forgot to mention Hunted in the beginning. I'm mentioning it to you right now. Hunted was one responsible for making a tool that allowed us to do a lot more to this mod. So shout out to Hunted. Uh, cool. I know you got burnt out, man. Uh, we miss you. But we appreciate all the hard work you did in the beginning phase of the mod. And then uh, you see the support team right here. Myself, I was I was responsible for some ideas, for some trinket ideas. I was I was a playtester. Um you know, Glarus, Fometo, Subject, Teddy, and Yeats, the GOAT Yeats. He was another playtester. Uh, he had a lot of insight. We appreciate his help as, as well. But that's it, guys, man. We are so excited to finally bring this to you. Go out, enjoy it, die a lot. You're going to die a whole lot, and that's part of the hell experience, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I want you guys to play it. Please drop comments. Uh, I'll be posting on Reddit, drop comments, also on the Discord. Let us know, man. And guys, if you have any feedback as well, let us know what you guys think. If you have any, uh, if you say, hey, listen, this is too strong. This is too weak. Uh, I feel like this boss should do this or this, uh, there's too many ads, there's too little ads, whatever, whatever you, whatever feedback that you guys have for us, please let us know. We're open to it. This is pretty much kind of still in beta mode. We're going to keep adding new stuff to this. We're going to keep adding new gear uh potentially new enemies if we can uh do whatever as we know learn more we could do more so if you guys have any feedback please let us know but that's about it shout out to all the ets crew again you guys are awesome uh that's it man be on the lookout for my build videos now i've got a lot in store more challenge runs now that we have the hell difficulty and that's it guys hope you enjoy the mod and look forward to hearing from each and every one of you.